everyone. Ron Kreider reporting for duty again today. Today is Sunday. It is May the 9th. This is the last program of the numbers. I've been doing the numbers now. This will be my 407th, 408th program that I have done. And uh, it looks, my numbers have fallen off considerably in the past couple of weeks. It would appear that either you people think I'm doing a really worse job than I already did, or you're kind of losing interest in this whole thing to begin with. And maybe that's a good thing. And maybe we are at the beginning of the end of this pandemic, and I certainly hope so. However, because my business is cranking back up again and getting more busy, I can't continue to put these videos together. I know it seems like something that's pretty simple that I can crank out in about five or 10 minutes, but at the end of the day, it actually takes me two and a half hours to actually edit this video and put all the words up there and get all the pieces together. And it just is eating up an inordinate amount of time. And although when we were all hunkered down, it gave me something to do, uh, including talking to my puppies here. However, Anyway, I've enjoyed doing it very much. I did it because I wanted to do it, but now I don't want to do it, and then some days not do it. I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to be consistently not doing it from now on. Now, if something new should take place that would uh, develop as a result of COVID-19 in the pandemic, of course, I would do a couple of special programs as they appear, maybe on the weekends or something. I'm not quite sure. I'm signing off from doing it on a regular basis, but I may put up a couple of other ones in the foreseeable future. Don't forget, there still will be a party, big party, celebration party coming up relatively soon. I don't know where or when, but I will certainly post a video about that, let you know way in advance when it will be, where it will be. There will be no cost to you folks who watch this video. I want to invite all of you to be there. I'd like to meet everybody, and I do appreciate your faithful support and all the thank yous that you have given me when I've asked for it. You've been very, very obedient, and for which I appreciate so much. Hope you have a really great life, and looking forward to seeing you at our party whenever that comes up. I'm going to leave you with the shout outs that I did a couple of months ago. Actually, these are back from Valentine's Day, and that's that will be my swan song for today. Now you'll see me again when I pop up uh, and we talk about the party and so forth. Have a very blessed Sunday and looking forward to seeing you at the party. Ron Kreider, signing off. Here are our new shout outs, starting with Susan Holleran. She's one of our new watchers. Here comes Lisa Scartelli. She lives up at Ormond Beach. Ah, fabulous gal, very pretty. Uh, Ann and George Ed, they probably are one of our most frequent watchers. Very, very nice folks just live right around the corner from us here. We don't know who these folks are, but they do watch and listen. And this is Billy Moss, probably the best real estate guy in town for restaurants and bars. You do it at a restaurant or a bar, you need to know Billy Moss. This is Cheryl and Orrin Deacon. They live here in our building. And this is Chris Long, Roof Authority. Did the roof here at Victoria. Does big grooves all over town. He's probably one of the best roofing guys on the Treasure Coast. And there's uh, Lizzie and uh, Diana Stark. They live here in our building. Diane Flynn, our business manager. We call her New Jersey Diane. And this is Emily Brown. She's my granddaughter. She's going to nursing school. Looks like a model to me. This is Big Greg down at WMVM in Miami. He listens occasionally. Great engineer. Hans Krug, WJPP. He's the owner of the Catholic radio station for the Treasure Coast with his wife. And guess who this is? We don't know who this is. We met them the other night over at uh, Riders, and this is a really cute couple. These guys are a lot of fun. Came riding up in a little golf cart. Let us know who you are. This is Jim Davis, the best radio voice on the planet, and we're lucky to have him living here in Vero Beach. He has worked all over the place, the best radio stations in North America, like in Toronto and you name it. He's worked there, but he has a fabulous radio voice. And then we have John Marks, and coming up is Kelly, and they have the Polo Bistro and Polo Deli. John's a living legend here in town when it comes to restaurants. And uh, Kelly, she's just absolutely fantastic. Does a really great job at those places. So the other person we don't know, but I know she watches and listens. And then here comes Kevin Baco. He's been my friend for like 25 years. He's out in Houston, Texas. My daughter, Kim Peasy. She lives up in North Carolina. She listens occasionally. My other daughter here, Lisa. 
She lives in Stewart. Another picture of Lisa here at the Citron Bistro. And there is Marie Arnold on the right-hand side with her uh, daughter-in-law. Very, very nice folks with Molly. Marie and uh, Kim over at the Marine Bank. My new friends at the Marine Bank here in town. And then who's coming up is uh, Marie. These are really fabulous people. Best bank I've ever done business with. This is Captain Marcia at our front gate. There's nobody better than Captain Marcia. We love Captain Marcia. She's a rough, tough lady, I've got to tell you. Here's Mary, June, and Al. They live here. I understand they're great card players. Wouldn't want to play poker with them, though. Uh, Ray Moncari doesn't live here anymore, but he moved into his mansion up the street. Nice guy with Chad Goff. And on the left there, you see Robin Yates and Nancy Kreider there on the right. And here comes Sherry Brown. She's the best real estate person in town if you want to buy a house or a piece of property. No pressure Sherry is what we call her. She's the best. Here's Tommy DeBray. Tom DeBray has been my friend for like since I was a teenager working in radio in, in D.C. and in Fort Lauderdale. My partner over there on the right-hand side, there's Tony. We're on top of the Panorama Building in Miami with the designer of the building. And there is Vanessa, and she keeps things together for us down in Miami. And this is Princess White. She and I did radiation, cancer radiation, together here at Cleveland Clinic. Really nice gal. And look who we have here. Wayne and Dorothy, our Minnetonka friends from Minnetonka, Minnesota. The best. Chad Goff. This is Edward. He's the best chef in town, but he's not really a chef. He's an interior designer, but he can cook a mean meal. Here's Carol Young. We grew up together in Fort Lauderdale. Been hanging out since she was 16 years old. She lives up in Kentucky. Dr. Molly Snell, all dressed up in her Christmas outfit. And here we go with Buddy Brown. He's one of our new watchers. And this is Zandra Sim, has a really, really great place called Vines Restaurant here on Beach, Indian River Shores. And here's Writer's Gourmet Market on Cardinal. I can't say too many nice things about that place. Man, they're really fantastic. And here is Tom Ryder. He's the real deal here in town. He started the Aspen Food and Wine Festival. He, he, he Check him out on Wikipedia. You will not believe who this guy is. Absolutely a fantastic gentleman. You need to know him. He is the real deal got some animals coming up here check this guy Lucas Kennedy he's taking care of the house over there what we got here peanuts Dahlia and Andy Danshaw this is Dapper Danshaw Ellie Mahoney she lives up in Minnesota this is uh, Hudson Parm he lives here until he's not beautiful dog fantastic LeBron and Tommy that's our little guys this is Ty. He's no longer with us. He's one of my favorite little dogs. And here's Coco. Look at Coco. Doesn't even look like a real dog. Looks like a stuffed animal. This is Ollie. He's my daughter's dog. Lives up in North Carolina. This is Pierre. Pierre Cadadaday. And look at the puppy licking the little kitty. Is that beautiful or what? The new information that we're putting in here today, and these are the inf this is the information about some of the places that we suggest that you go to because we've been frequenting these places since we've lived here in Vero Beach, like the Tides Restaurant, which we consider one of the best, very best restaurants in town. It's been the number one restaurant for about 15 years now. Ryder's New Gourmet Market over there on Cardinal Drive, fabulous place. The Polo Deli in Bistro, love that place. Best prices on wine. Village Beach Market, the Ocean Grill, we love that place. Vines Boutique Restaurant, Sandra Sims Place, wonderful place. Coffee House, 1420, the best coffee in town, downtown. Pomodoro Grill, Spritz City Bistro in Stewart, love that place. The Fort Steakhouse in Fort Pierce, best steaks on the Treasure Coast. Mego Malley's, best Irish food on the Treasure Coast, that's up in Melbourne. Cafe Coconut Cove, that's German restaurant around here. Citron Bistro, the Cobalt Restaurant, the Wave Kitchen for Paella, Francesca's Italian Restaurant, oh my goodness, Francesca's Italian Kitchen for Pizza, love that place. Two J's, Ayalisco Mexican Food, Ronda's Seafood, best, best, best Seafood Restaurant, sorry about that. Treasure Coast Barbershop, 
and uh, we'd like to go over there. And how about the Marine Bank and Trust Company with Marie and Kim over there? And uh, the new watchers here are Robert and Dorothy and Sean and Peggy and Nick. And we have Cheryl, Priscilla, Jackie, Regina, Diane, Heather always shows up everywhere. Heather is everywhere. Love Heather. Thanks, Heather. Appreciate you watching. Jill, Nancy, I think that's Nancy Strazula, uh, Robert, Sherry, and Curtis. Thank you so much for watching. We do appreciate it. Don't forget to push the like button. Hey, this is our beach here at Victoria at Indian River Shores, and we say it's 13 acres of paradise. Love this place. Love Vero Beach. Love Indian River Shores. And love the Victoria.